Okay, so one of the other things that's super fast and super easy to make, if you have guests coming over at the last minute, like uh, a lot of guests like to do, um, you know, we found that this recipe, it looks amazing if you're having wine and it goes great with basically any kind of <laughs> beverage, but um, you know, it's just a different take on your old boring cheese and crackers tray. You can do something different and it actually tastes amazing. It's two taste combos that go very well together. So what we did was we picked up um, just an 8 ounce block of cream cheese. Depending on how many guests you have coming over, you can pick up a few blocks. You can pick up even more. It doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to take your cream cheese and you're going to just empty that out right onto a nice serving plate because, you know, presentation is a lot. Like I said before, there's so many ways that you can make minimal ingredients look absolutely amazing and it's so impressive to people and then they'll say, oh, I have to get that recipe and it's like, well, it's just this, this, and that. And so it's really on how you display it. So you're just going to dump that out onto your presentation plate and, um, Rinse that cream cheese off my hands. So then you're going to have your cream cheese on your plate. Now, the basic, the most important part is the jelly that you're going to put on top of the cream cheese. Like I said, the taste combos go really well together. And what the recipe will call for is a jalapeno jelly. You can get a pepper jelly or a jalapeno jelly. Um, that is the primary jelly that I would go with. Our deli and our, um, our grocer didn't have any today, so what we picked up was some organic red raspberry preserves. Um, it's just Smucker's raspberry goes awesome with cream cheese. So, um, you know, you could do like an orange marmalade or peach marmalade too, it, whatever your tastes are really, but these two flavors go very well together and I wish we had the pepper jelly because that's my favorite. Um, I'm from a small town and there's some local gals that make an awesome pepper jelly and unfortunately, being so far away from them, it's a little more difficult to just run and grab it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to strategically place it over your cream cheese. I mean, you know, you can dump it on there if you want, but you can just slather it just enough because what you're going to do is your guests are going to take those crackers and they're going to just dip into the block. And so you want them to get a nice proportion of jelly to cream cheese. I mean, you don't want them eating mouths full of jelly, of course, so don't overdo it. And then what's nice is that you can stick this in the fridge and keep replacing it if, you know, it looks like more jelly is gone than cream cheese. Just kind of give it another good pass over the cream cheese. Now the crackers are super important. What I, my favorite is are, um, they're the toasted crackers. And today we picked up the party pack cracker assortment. It has wheat, buttercrisp, and sesame. They taste awesome with, um, this recipe. So I kind of tend to stick to those. You can get the water crackers too. Those are kind of nice. A lot of people don't like them. They say they taste like cardboard. I would have to agree when you don't eat them with anything. But then just, you know, give a nice presentation of your crackers around the plate too. Of course, it's not going to matter when people start dipping into it. They're going to make it look like a tornado hit the plate, but that's all right. So you're going to just take those it around there. And what I like to do is once people start eating it and it kind of looks like this array, then you're going to want to take it and just refill those crackers too. Because, you know, being the host, having people over means, you know, constantly being in the kitchen. So um, we just have your normal spreader. People don't want to just dip into it with their hands. We don't ever invite people over like that. So you just take your knife or spreader knife. I always like to make it look nice and make it available anyway. And you can just kind of put that in there, just as a suggestion for people, and um, voila, that is it. And it's super easy, it looks awesome, and it tastes amazing.